Today I have the latest book from Masters of Anatomy, Book 8, How to Draw Expressive Faces and Hands. We'll take a look at all four chapters and see if this belongs on your bookshelf. I ain't getting out of bed today. I keep waking up from the previous night. The four chapters are as follows. Core Emotions, a how-to comic book style detailing what they call the six universal emotions. Anger, surprise, disgust, happiness, fear, and sadness. Chapter 2 is Character Expressions, featuring over 2,100 facial expressions, including humans, animals, robots, and more. Chapter 3 is Emojis, 1,200-plus facial expressions broken down in their most simplistic form. Chapter 4 is 75 pages of hand expression, including the gesture. And finally, I've credited the artists featured in this book. The book opens up with an introduction and a description of the four chapters which we already covered. Moving into Chapter 1, this is sort of the how-to portion of the book, where you'll follow the adventures of Grace, who learns about the six emotions by encountering six exiled knights as part of her adventure. Now, this is a fully illustrated comic with a painterly style that effectively conveys these emotions. It clocks in at about 40 pages, and while it's stylized and might not be for everyone, I actually thought it was a unique way to try to teach someone facial expressions. Being the introduction chapter, I thought it set a good tone for the rest of the book. Now, I can't show the whole book, obviously, but I think the artwork here is a highlight. You'd expect the chapter about emotions to be dynamic, and it doesn't disappoint here. The line work, the coloring, the lettering, it's consistent throughout the 40 pages. Finally, this is perfect for younger viewers as well. So if you have that little artist in your life just kind of coming up, this is probably as an effective beginning teaching tool as you're likely to find. By the way, Who's the Nandrithal who left the one Oreo in the pack last night? So if you're gonna fire down two rows of Oreos, the least you could do is have the decency to eat the last one or throw the package out. That's what I said, Nandrithal. The second chapter is 2100 images over 164 pages. This is how it breaks down. For each individual character design, whether it be human, animal, robot, or etc., there are six different expressions drawn out for each individual design. They vary somewhat in style, but I found most of them to be animation influenced, as opposed to realism or even an American comic book style. There are some that could pass sort of as manga, so there really is something for everyone here. By the way, if you're liking this video, drop a comment, hit the like button, and hit that sub. You'll really be helping the channel out, and it costs absolutely nothing. The quality of the art is consistent throughout all 2100 images, meaning you're not going to find a dip in quality as you make your way through the chapter. And although, personally, I'm more influenced by American-style comic art or even realism, I did find this super useful, especially the more exaggerated ones, which don't naturally occur to me due to my particular style. Look, I get it. But it's like leaving a half a slice of cheese in the refrigerator. The hell good is it? Even a mice won't eat that. That's what I said. Vigerator. You don't get it. It's a disgrace. Chapter 3 features 50 pages of 1,200 different emojis. Now for me, it kind of builds on the last chapter because it simplifies the expressions even more. Once again, they're very stylized and very exaggerated. This is our first chapter where we have a homework assignment in the end. The homework assignment is basically redrawing all 1200 emojis to sort of build muscle memory and be able to more easily draw this from memory in the future. One thing of note, if you're drawing a character of any type, you can transpose these expressions almost one to one to whatever you're really drawing, especially if you lean towards a more cartoony style. Even if your style is more realistic, like me, it's definitely valuable to see it broken down so simply. Now I have just about all the Masters Anatomy books. I'll drop links below because I did reviews for just about all of them. That's not really why I'm showing this here though. Our next chapter is done by the same artist who's drawn the last three or four books. I would watch my review on the complete edition because I do a quick tutorial on that one on how I personally use these books to improve my own art. Now on a chapter four, in my opinion this chapter alone justifies the price of the entire book. I love this guy's art. There are 75 pages of hands examples along with for the most part a gesture for each one and that's your homework assignment draw all the gestures and just try to capture the flow of the hand the fingers how they look how they move how they're structured before you worry about all the little details fingernails and the separation of fingers and etc Raul does a great job here and this is a strong chapter to really close out the book so it's probably no surprise my review of this book and my recommendation is to pick it up there's a ton and ton of work that went into this book. 
and there should be something for everyone here. How are you liking the Master's Anatomy book so far? Drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. I hope you liked this video. If you like knocking about a bit on this channel, you can check out these videos over here, or you can join the Discord and check me out on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next one.